It's one of the most ancillary aspects of the global coronavirus crisis, but the disease is beginning to seep into the sports world. That includes it. Major League Baseball spring training in Phoenix after MLB made a surprising announcement on Monday for t to protect its players. KTSM 9 Sports Director Andy Morgan is covering the Padres and the Chihuahuas at spring training, and he has more from Phoenix. Over the course of the past couple of weeks, we have seen the sports world directly affected by the coronavirus crisis. And on Monday, Major League Baseball held a conference call with all 30 of its Major League teams to discuss the importance of health and safety with their clubs. And effective immediately, locker rooms and clubhouses are to remain closed. The league is stressing to players and staff the importance of good hygiene practices and the latest recommendations related to travel. It's a tough situation, what it, what it is right now, um, but we just want to try to stay healthy. We try to keep um, everyone healthy for the season. I'm not like an expert in that area, so um, you know, I kind of you know, probably trust the, you know, the people making the decisions. Major League Baseball also saying they plan to play spring training games as scheduled, at least for now, as they monitor the situation. Now, the San Diego Padres, of course, the El Paso Chihuahuas parent club, shares the Peoria Sports Complex with the Seattle Mariners. And according to the CDC, Washington State has the most confirmed cases of the coronavirus than any other state in the U.S. It just makes the cause for concern here in Peoria even that more real. Andy Morgan, KTSM 9 Sports. Now the NBA, MLS, and NHL joining Major League Baseball and closing their locker rooms to non-essential personnel on Monday. That's not the only extent leagues may resort to protect people from the coronavirus. Sports leagues across Europe have already resorted to playing games in empty stadiums, and while that hasn't happened in the United States yet, the possibility of it happening for the upcoming NCAA tournament is there. UTEP and New Mexico State are hoping to play in March Madness, but even if they don't, they're of course taking every precaution. You know, we're doing everything that we can uh, to make sure that, you know, none of our people get infected or, you know, if someone would ever be, not to, you know, pass that along. But in terms of, um, you know, not playing in front of uh, empty arenas, etc., you know, it doesn't really cross my mind that has, you know, I won't get a vote on something like that. The biggest thing that we're trying to tell our guys to do is what everybody else is saying to do, you know, you know, keep your hands clean, you know, um, you know, try to have really good hygiene in terms of, you know, taking care of yourself and looking out for yourself. Both UTEP and New Mexico State will travel this week for their respective conference tournaments.